Okay, so Blender crashed, and uh, yeah, that happens a lot when you are using Blender 2.8 because it's still in development phase. Uh, I thought I'd, I thought of uh, just cutting out that part, but uh, I think it's important uh, for you to realize. Uh, so I, that's why I left it in there, and uh, also because I wanted to show you another feature that I s that I've just realized. I don't know if it was available in in 2.79, uh, but uh, yeah. So if your project crashes uh, and you can go under file and uh, you can uh, find uh, recover last session or recover auto save. Uh, I think Blender, s I think auto saves the projects sometimes, not always. Okay, maybe it saves it uh, in intervals, maybe of 30, 30 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, because I was able to recover parts of the project, uh, you can see what I was able to recover, not everything. Uh, but uh, I think it's good enough. So you can, if your project crashes, try and see if you are able to recover it using these two options. Uh, recover last session and recover uh, auto save. Or, or you can go to, if you're using Windows, I'm not sure uh, the option for if a Mac or any other operating system has the same options. Uh, you can hit um, win the Windows key and then R to bring up this run um, um, pop up or window and then type in percent temp percent to go to the temporary files and uh, you will find some of the auto saves are uh, right here so you can try and go through them and see you can see even some of the projects i worked on uh, blender was auto saving them uh back here so that uh, let's see i'm opening a random project uh, the problem is that uh, it's opening that in blender 2.7 not Blender 2.8, so maybe that's why you're seeing this. So let me try opening another version of Blender here and drag and drop uh, the project directly here. Open. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you can also just check your temporary files and see if <coughs> if uh, if the, the project is there. So you can even check one of these numbered files to see this one didn't save anything important uh but uh basically you can go back and check as that let me see if it's if the option is there in uh, 2.7 yeah it is there i just never used it before yeah so let's continue with this uh so this is going to be part two of uh, making this a modern house and remember we're going to be making everything and uh, if you want any of these files they will be available on my patreon account and uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm saving uh, save us i'm saving every tutorial or every video session as a project file on its own so that if you want to start on a particular part of the project you can just go and download that part and start from there uh, all of these files will be up on my patreon account so yeah let's continue so we were extruding this uh, protrusion here. So let's continue that. I will maybe need anything uh, around there. So let me reduce the width of this wall. Uh, if you look at uh, this image, you can see uh, these are protruding out so the room is a bit in uh, on is a bit on the inside not exactly at the uh, edge so we need to push this maybe and this uh, and this extrude them out a bit and we don't need these faces here so delete that now this protrusion here uh, is this here Okay, this also doesn't have to be there. So this here. So to make a selection like this, so you can select the first face and then hit control, hold down control on your keyboard and then select this. Any other face and Blender will make a quick sell a quick selection of any faces between uh, the selection. So that's a nice feature to have. Uh, so that is this here so we can pull that out and i let me make sure i'm saving 
again turn on cavity and maybe shadows and maybe random colors so we have that uh, but you see this is also protruding out a bit a bit more and uh, this protrusion goes out even further i think to around here so we can also select this and then extrude that to around there uh so here uh we don't let me see from here okay it doesn't show us so we don't need these faces here or we can just extrude them inside like this maybe we can pull this now but so we have that uh, before we extrude those let's first do this we need to also select this outline and everything that uh, is supposed to be pulled inside so let's see let's see I think that's good enough and now we can extrude around there now let's pull this out like this uh, we don't need these here yeah, I think that's what we we need make sure to be saving every time uh, this we can also extend this a bit further the same is continue with extrusion extrude okay I think this top here has more thickness uh, than what we are giving it right now so let's go in wireframe and then select border select at border select you just press b and then drag to make a border selection okay so now this is getting in the way so we can pull it out to the side like that yeah so we have the basic shape out of the way now we need to add okay i think i made a mistake here because this here is supposed to be around here around there um let's see let's see yeah you know what let's see yeah we need what we can do is um delete these faces here because you can see this is a different level than this so we can or just extrude this go to front front view uh, we have now doubles here so we can select these here scale them in the z axis zero so that everything every vertex double vertex vertices are at the same point and then hit w remove doubles uh, that will match any vertices that are together like that but uh, I think we have a few extrusions that uh, we don't need so if we select these here and hide that you can see we have these faces here that we don't need so we can unhide now and uh, we have that I think we also need uh, this space here to be the same as this so we can select these here remember you can also use uh, the measure to to measure the distance so this is about 1.5 so 1.5 is around I wish it was easier to make uh, these 
these, line, these measurements to snap because I'm having trouble getting the measurements right. So now I can select this. So if you try selecting a, a vertex and it doesn't, uh, switch out edit mode and then come back, and then you will be able to select uh, okay, so now I've lost the measurements. Okay, so let me turn them on. So it should be around there. And turn them off. I think also uh, this here has to be inside a bit more so we can move that around there. Uh, maybe also just pull this out further like that. So let's add this thing here. So th there are a few ways we can do that. We can, um, let's see, select, let's just do it this way. Select this here and this, these faces here. Then extrude them around there but uh, now we have a few faces we don't need so let's go to wireframe hide these and uh, let's go first go back so you can see we have a few duplicate faces here uh, we can select these edges or vertices and delete them And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see this as well. So if we unhide, we have that. So we can select this loop here and this, then hit W bridge loops. Now I guess it's time to add uh, the windows. So let's begin with this simple one. So it's around there and I uh, think we already have this loop. Let's use let's use it. So this can be pushed in just like that. I will come and add in the frame uh, later. Uh, let's first make uh, the extrusions there. And then we can also add in this window. I think it should be a bit low around there. And, uh, let's add another loop around here. So, and uh, maybe around there. Select this. Then extrude so that's the second window now we also have another window here add another loop here also if you try to select a an edge uh, like I wanted to. Uh, if you try to select an edge and you can't, and you go into go out of edit mode, to object mode, and then come back, and it's still and still you can't, you are not able to select uh, that edge. I think that's a bug. Uh, but uh, if that happens, I first switch to vertex mode, uh, which is one on your keyboard, or this uh, icon here, and then turn back to edge mode. 
uh, that way you'll be able to select uh, that edge. So let's bevel this edge, Control B, or you can use uh, this bevel here, icon. Uh, I'll just use Control B. Then you can control the amount right here. So we have doubles here. So we can remove those, remove doubles. Then we can extrude uh, this inside like that. So let's also add uh, the door. Let's see. Let's so we just need to add a loop here around here and another one around there and another one around here i'm not sure how the height of all let me see um door height come on meters in meters six what is six point eight six point eight feet eh? is it six feet eight feet feet two meters eight okay it's two two meters 2.4 let's see yeah i don't think it's going to be that high it should be So I think our window is too too tall, so we need to reduce that a bit. Again, you don't have to be that accurate uh, if you're just visualizing and uh, not making something that uh, is going to really be built. As long as it looks good enough, it should be good. So let's bring back these measurements. Select this loop, pull it around there. I think that's a fairly tall door. Which also means that uh, we also have to make these as other levels a bit taller than this. So this is going to be our Ah, 